Final here tonight for so many, an old famous back and forth between President George H.W. Bush and Dana Carvey is so telling. Here's Major Garrett. The way to do the president is to start out with Mr. Rogers. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> then you add a little John Wayne. Here we go, let's go over the ridge. You put them together, you got George Herbert Walker Bush. Together, President Bush and his comedic foil, Dana Carvey, forged a perhaps unexpected friendship, one that started after Bush lost his bid for re-election in 1992. Mr. Bush invited Carvey to the White House as a pick-me-up for the staff. I was staying in the Lincoln bedroom last night, and I couldn't resist getting on the phone, and I called up the Secret Service as the president. Feel like going jogging tonight. In the nude. Carvey's Saturday Night Live impressions were comedy gold. Bad, they're bad. So memorable, Mr. Bush himself had to join in the fun. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. In all my years of government service, I never once said, nah, God, da. The president's grace and generosity vividly on display as he recounted a phone call to Carvey. He said, I hope I've never crossed the line. And I knew exactly what he meant. And as far as I'm concerned, he never has. And uh, the fact that we can uh, laugh at each other is a very fundamental thing. We had so many warm moments with them. And, uh, In April, Carvey you know, described I, his 25-year like friendship say. with the Bushes and how times have coarsened. They didn't demonize the other side. You know, it was just a different time. Upon Mr. Bush's death, Carvey wrote simply, when I think of those times, what I remember most is how hard we would laugh. I will miss my friend. Major Garrett, CBS News, Washington.